Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Wondershare, PDF Element Pro. PDF Element is an all-in-one PDF editor, from which you can get powerful features to edit, review, protect, compare, sign and convert PDF. PDF Element has been designed with simplicity in mind, to offer affordable PDF solutions, that makes it easy for users to create, edit, convert, annotate, and sign Office documents. With PDF Element, the user receives full control over his PDF files, and gets to adjust anything, from fonts to styles, without affecting the original formatting of the document. While using PDF Element, you can convert different file types to PDF format. And its powerful PDF optimization feature, helps in compressing your PDF. So you can share it quickly and easily. Visit the link in the description, and get 50% off on PDF Element. So let's get started. Open After Effects, and instead of creating a new composition, I am going to import the video files into the project. I have two videos here, the first one is the easy track, and the second one is hard track. You can download them from the link in the description import them into the project. And then, grab this easy track video, and drop it onto the composition icon. It will create a new composition, with the same duration, frame rate, as well as the resolution as this video. Please note, the tracking can take a longer time, as it depends upon the frame numbers in a video. So for this tutorial, I am going to use the 5 seconds clip only. So go to the 5 seconds time position, and then split this video layer. Now, I am deleting the top video part, because we don't need it. Also, press N, to set the work area till 5th seconds. Now right click on this work area. Then choose trim comp to work area. It will immediately trim your comp to the 5 second. Now I am going to track this video. To be precise. I am going to track this watch in the hand. Here are a few things to remember, make sure the object you are trying to track, has the right amount of contrast. And it is separated from other things. The tracking software is not that smart, it uses the contrast for tracking an object. This watch is going to be tracked easily, because it has a very smooth movement. Let's play this out, and you will know. As you can see, the motion is very smooth. And the video is shot in slow motion. The fast movement means, the more difficult the object to track. Let's track the watch now. Go to the first frame, and then click on this window. Here, choose the tracker from the list. Now, a new tracker tab will appear. This tab position can be different for your software, but it will be there for you. Now. 
for tracking to work, make sure to select your video clip. And then click on this stabilize motion. Here you can see the tracker point on your clip. This track point will look like two squares. Simply grab this tracker point outline, and increase the size of it. This outside tracking frame defines the motion of the object. You can increase the size of it according to the movement of your object. The more moment you have, the large size of it should be. Inside of it, you have this tracker. Make sure to increase the size of it, so that you can cover up the tracking object completely. Now simply grab this track point from this area, and drop it onto the object you want to track. Make sure the tracker is large enough to cover the object, else the tracking may not work properly. Cool. Now go to the tracker panel, and click on this option button. Here, I am going to choose the channel as the luminance. But you can try the RGB as well. Also, my subpixel positioning is checked, so that the tracking won't be wobbly, or shaky. Now click on this Analyze Forward button, to start the tracking. It can take some times, depending on your machine speed, as well as the frame numbers. When it is done, it will stop the tracking automatically. Scrub through the video, and you will find the tracking works perfectly. Now click on Edit Target, and choose the layer to your video layer. Click on this Apply button, and then choose, Apply Dimensions to X and Y, because the object is moving into X and Y direction. Click OK. If you scrub through your timeline, you can see the object is staying at its position, but the video frame is moving too much. And it is showing the black bars, all over the clip. Which we don't like to see. Now, what this tracker is doing. It is simply adding key frames, on every single frame of the video clip. If you press U on your keyboard, you can see, it has added key frames on the anchor point. Now the anchor point is fixed on the watch, and the entire frame is moving, so that it will stay in the center. Let's try to fix it. Press S to open scale. And scale up the size of this footage. Now try to align your clip at the position, so that the black bars don't appear on the entire frame. It can take a while, but you will surely find the perfect position. By the way, you can move and scale your clip completely because you don't have any active keyframes on them. RAM preview this, and it will look nice. Well, it was easy. Let's move to the next video. Again, grab this next video, and drop it onto the composition icon. Let's trim out the comp timing to the 5 second, to save the time on the tracking. Play this video so that we can understand, why I am calling it hard tracking. As you can see, this clip is shot on real time frame speed. And the motion is happening really fast. In this type of clips, the tracker can be failed easily. But we will try to fix it. Of course, you can use some third party tracker. But as always, we are not going to use any third party plugins. Ok, let's do this. Go to the first frame, and make sure to select your video clip. Again click on the stabilize motion. And if you normally place this tracker on your object, and try to track it, the tracking will fail every single time. Because the motion is so fast. Let's undo this, and try to track now. In this case, I am going to increase the size of this track point. I am keeping the large size, so that it will cover the entire motion easily. Make sure the middle part of this tracker, covers the object completely. Just the object, nothing else, or it might not work. As you can see, the tracker is going away from the object. Which is not correct. So let's undo this, and fix the size and shape of this tracker. Now simply click on the Analyze Forward button, and it will track the object very easily. Please note it can take a longer than before, because it is doing more processing, as compared to the previous clip. So sit back, and wait for the tracking to be finished. 
Cool. The tracker has finished tracking. There may be some points, the tracker is going out of the object, at this point, you can simply align the tracker manually. Just drag and drop onto the perfect timing. Click on edit target, and choose the clip. And then click on the apply button. It will also do the same, with this clip as well. Let's simply open scale, and adjust the scale value of it. Place the clip on the right frame position, and if required, you can increase the scale value again. It can take a while, but yes, you will achieve it. Cool. Ram preview this, and our tracking is complete, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.